Okay, now that we have created our script, the next step will be to change the aspect ratio. Of course, to do that, we need a new PowerPoint deck. So there's a couple ways I can do this. The first is to go to a folder and create a new PowerPoint slide. Call this YouTube Short. I can then open that up. Or I can go to File. I can go to Blank Presentation from within an existing presentation. Or I can, of course, just open PowerPoint and for the first time select New Presentation. So many ways that you can get here. Now, one thing I'm going to be doing throughout this tutorial is zooming in and out. So I can zoom in and out using my control key and my mouse wheel, which is probably the fastest way. Of course, you can use your uh, trackpad or another easy way is to use this slider down here and that'll make your life easier. Another thing you might want to do is to clean up this slide. So you see there's all of these elements here and because you're probably going to be adding just videos and graphics and so forth. You can go to layout and choose blank presentation or when you're selecting new slides, you can choose blank. That just makes your life a lot easier. Now we want to change the aspect of this presentation. So make sure that you go to file save as so you don't lose any work that you have. And then we go to design slide size and we're going to choose custom slide size. Of course, we know that you can make it any size that you want. You could, like I said, do one by one ratio of some kind for an Instagram post. But in our case, we already know that what we want is a vertical video. And for the 1080 by 1920, you want 5.625 by 10. And I'm just going to click OK. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to maximize or ensure fit? I'm going to choose maximize. You would use ensure fit if you already had a lot of elements on your slide. It would kind of shrink everything down so it would all fit nicely. That would really mess things up. So I do recommend you always start from a blank template when creating these vertical videos. Once you've done that, you can say, OK, I want to have a particular color scheme that I'm going to be using throughout. Let's say, for example, you wanted to use a purple background through every slide. That's something you can do. If you wanted to use different colors, you can. But I know for this presentation, I'm going to use black. So I'm going to right click and select format background. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose black. Then I'm gonna make sure that I hit apply to all so that it applies to all slides and any future slide, it will be black. Okay, so that's pretty much the steps that you need to know about in terms of creating the initial structure. Let's go ahead and start adding content.